A 19 year old woman charged in the murder of a man who was set on fire along with his wife who was critically burned has been on the run since April. Now before this happened, she was given two felony bonds. She was allowed to be free as she was awaiting trial only to then fail to show up for court. And Fox 26's Randy Wallace looks closer tonight at this case and his continuing series Breaking Bond live from the southwest side. Randy. Caitlin, if 174th Criminal District Court Judge Hazel Jones would have revoked Emma Pressler's bond instead of just giving her another one when she picked up a new felony charge, a 33-year-old man might be alive tonight and his wife wouldn't be fighting to survive. I mean, this girl had a lot going on in less than a year. For some reason, judges seem to want to bend over backwards for 19-year-old Emma Pressler. She should have been locked up a long time ago. Pressler's run-in with the law began in September of 2020. That's when she and four other defendants were charged in the murder of 20-year-old Sierra Rod. She was there. We all know she was there. I mean, it's just she, the truck was at my house. She was caught in the truck. She was there. Her boyfriend is charged with Sierra's murder and is in jail. But a magistrate decided there was no probable cause, so he dismissed the murder charge against Pressler. When Pressler lands in the 174th Criminal District Court, Judge Hazel Jones gives her a felony bond for credit card abuse. So she's out. So now we're out on a felony. Months later, she gets charged with yet another felony. The DA's office asked Judge Hazel Jones to revoke Pressler's bond and put her in jail. Instead, Judge Jones gives Pressler another felony bond. Pressler's been a fugitive for over four months. She's been wanted. Earlier this month, police say Emma Pressler went to the Kingwood home of 33-year-old Devin Graham, doused him with gasoline, and set him on fire, killing him. His 26-year-old wife, Carissa Lindros, was critically burned. My heart goes out to them because I know exactly what they're going through, and it's the most horrible thing. She's probably one of thousands of defendants who are somewhere roaming around the streets of Harris County who have bond forfeiture warrants out. Although Crime Stoppers has asked Harris County's Justice Administration Department repeatedly for the names of those freed on multiple bonds who are now wanted fugitives, the county refuses to compile the data. It appears criminal district court judges don't want you to know just how many dangerous criminals they've set free, and now no one seems to know where the heck they are, like Emma Pressler. It's terrifying because I feel scared for other families out there, other kids. Um, it just it blows my mind. We called Judge Hazel Jones for comment, and yeah, we know she's not going to respond. Now, if any criminal district court judges have a positive story about repeat violent offenders they've let out of jail multiple times on multiple bonds, I'm all ears. Reporting live from the southwest side, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.